at this stage, I think the players are just desperate to get out there, and this promises to be a terrific game. Hello, this is Luke from Play Magazine. And this is Paul. And today we're taking a look at PES 2015, the sequel to PES 2014, I believe. Yeah, it's quite a long-running series, actually. You might be surprised to hear. <laughs> Um, but uh, it's a series that was very bad for some time mm -hmm. and, uh, and has gradually been improving. Um, I would expect to hear a lot of people this year saying that Pez is, is back to form. Um, I've actually thought the last two were quite good. I was going to say, um, we say that every year, but this, yeah. this, this year <laughs> yeah, no, we're true. all just clamouring for the glory days of you know Pez, Pez 6, I guess, was kind of a, yeah. a high point for a lot of people. Well, that's understandable because I think what people like about Pez, I think, is, is always been the, the variety of it, um, the way that games can, can play out in completely mm -hmm. different ways, um, just the, the variety of goals. Like, for some reason, Pez, when, it, when it's at its best, the, the goals have always felt very unique, yeah. and, and that, that's what's so good about it, because you get that sense of satisfaction that you've crafted that goal. Mm -hmm. And I think that is very much in evidence in this latest one. Yeah, yeah. How are they, sorry, man. How are they doing with the licensing stuff now, though? Because obviously that's a big hook for FIFA. Um, um, it, am I it, still going to be playing in the Trad Brick Stadium, is all I need to know. Um, you won't be playing in the Trad Brick Stadium because they've got Man United. But okay. um, all the other teams are, <laughs> as you remember, North London Red, West Midlands Village, etc., etc. Um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, they... Don't have, they've only got a few Bundesliga teams as well, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but otherwise, the, the, most of the foreign leagues they've got, okay. um, it's just they haven't got the Bundesliga aside from a few teams. And the, the, all the Premier League teams are there, but they're just not, uh, not what they should be called. Which, you know, that, some, some people might find that a bit of an issue. You can always get option files for these things now online mm. to fix all that. But um, personally, I, I think the, the game's good enough that you shouldn't worry too much about that but you know it's up to people whether they care about that stuff yeah, yeah. I mean would you say the Pez magic is back then I would say the Pez magic is back yeah I, th I think it's a really good game um, I think the, uh, the the AI of your teammates really good in terms of the, the runs they make like they, they give you options coming short going long and the passing is really good the, the dribbling um, is responsive and, um, yeah it's just re really great football game all around and um, I think um, it's, it's definitely as, as close to FIFA as it's been for some time. Cool. Um, I, I, I think presentation's still not quite at the level of FIFA. I mean, the, the actual on-the-pitch stuff looks really good. Yeah. Um, and they've improved some of the menu stuff, but still, like, you play the Master League and it's, it's all a bit confusing and there's so many different menus and it's, it's just a, a bit rubbish in that aspect. Um, but they, they have tried to catch up a bit on the modes in terms of they've ripped off Ultimate Team, mm -hmm. um, which is is a good idea as far as I can, as far as I'm concerned, because you know people really like that, and they've got you know online seasons type thing, which is, which is a good good addition. So there's a little bit of improvement there. Awesome, we well, heard it right here. The magic is back at last. Won't want to come off second best, not against this opponent. 